Praise the Lord. This is Bishop Ernest Johnson. Welcome to Jesus is the Answer on television all over the world and also our Facebook friends. Amen. We have millions of Facebook friends and we are just excited tonight because we have a, a man of God, an anointed man of God, a chief apostle who actually walks in that calling. He is anointed. Uh, he has a powerful testimony. You've seen him on Jesus is the Answer before. Please welcome Chief Apostle Michael Rose. Welcome to Jesus is the Answer. God bless you, Bishop. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, so uh, uh, Dr. Rose, uh, Apostle, Chief yes, Apostle, sir. tell us a little bit about your church and how, how you got started in ministry. Uh, we started ministry uh, 106 in San Pedro. Uh, the daughter called me, amen, from a lifestyle of uh, banging and drug lord. And, God have called me to come and preach the gospel on the corner where I started the gang and it was a corner that I got saved on and began to form a church on the corner. Mm. And then as we began to process through the days, God had given me a vision of a name called Wrecking Crew. Mm -hmm. And Wrecking Crew means to wreck the devil's kingdom. <laughs> and then from that point, amen, the church began to launch out as God began to bring, you know, thousands of young men into the ministry and young mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. So God had done a wonderful work, amen, with us on that corner, mm -hmm. amen. And you know, basically, God just has been extending it, amen. I mean, tremendously. It's blowing my mind the way God has been moving, amen. And an individual that once was on American Most Wanted, the devil most hated, but now God most anointed. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. So, so you're, you're telling me that the same corner... Yes, sir. That you started the gang on. The same It's corner. the same corner you got saved on. The same corner I got saved So on. how did that happen? How did God take you back to that same spot? And same corner. One day I was, you know, God, uh, man, praise God. I began to go in that corner, and I was waiting for a couple of fellas to come. Okay. But a, a little man came to the corner <laughs> and began to tell me about Jesus. What? And in the midst of that, he began to literally tell me about Jesus. And he said, you know, it was your appointed time to be here on this corner. He said, would you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And I said, yes, I accept him. And immediately I accepted God, the power of God, amen, moved upon me from that man, amen. And I received salvation at that very, amen, hour. Mm -hmm. Jesus blessed me. All right. God. And what was it like when you received the Holy Ghost? Did you get the Holy Ghost there, or where did you get the Holy Ghost? I, as I began to, to receive it, I, I fell out, mm -hmm. you know, I... Uh, not under substance, not, right. on, not under <laughs> marijuana that I like. He wasn't high off drugs. Amen. But when he touched me, the Spirit of the Lord began to quicken me. And at that moment, I received the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and the power. And after that, three days later, I was baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise <laughs> <laughs> the Lord. Uh, you have a vein to the streets. In other yes, words, you kind of, you know, you have a feeling in the streets. Uh -huh. Is gangbanging changing? If it's changing, how is it changing? Uh, gang banging is is, is, is is changing through the power of God. That's right. It can't change mm -hmm. no other way. Right. Only way the young man is going to to meet salvation is through our Lord and Savior Jesus. Gangs, many young men that have gang banged, lives have been converted over yes. through the power of God. Right. right. And that's the only way that they would be converted right. is through Jesus. Right. Not the law enforcement, not putting the law enforcement down, right. but right. the only way that these men can be transformed mm -hmm. is through the power, through the blood. Right. What can make me whole again? <laughs> Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Now listen, when you got saved, you got saved on the corner, you got yes, filled sir. with the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. When did you know that God called you to preach? Uh, one day I was sitting at home mm -hmm. and God said, son, I want you to lead my people. Okay. And I began to question lead them because he said, well, you were the leader when you led the gang. Right. You led many brothers. Now right. I want you to lead my gang. Right. And at that <laughs> moment, I knew I was called to lead. To right. Pass, right, right, right. You know, and that's why the record truth for Christ is existing right now. Right. Through that movement of God. What has been your most challenging time of ministry? Well, my past <laughs> had been my most challenging time because people knew me for who I used to be. Mm -hmm. So it took a minute for them to see transformation or see me being converted over to Christ. Mm -hmm. 
and many didn't believe it. Right, right, right. So it was like Paul. Right, Paul. <laughs> Then first sermon I preached, a bishop was a converted gangster. Right, right. A gangster being converted over to preach the gospel, mm -hmm. to lead gangbangers, crips, and blood mm -hmm. out of their, you know, iniquity and lead them to Christ from out of sin. So it was a challenge struggling going through trying to find your place because many people chose not to believe, mm -hmm. amen, that I was called by God. Wow. But I stayed focused. <laughs> amen. Wow, that is that is awesome. I'm just excited to have you here yes, at Jesus is the Answer Church. And he's about to bless us in the Word of God. Amen. And God is going to speak to you immensely. Last question. We're looking at our young people today. What do you think is the most challenging thing to keep them from being saved? Uh, drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, gangs. Mm -hmm. uh, life itself have a lot to offer them now right, right. than uh, offer them in Jesus because they don't think that it's a lot of fun. They right. don't think that they can do the things, but you can find a lot of joy in God, a yeah. lot of excitement, it's a lot of things to do, and we just need to be that example and to show them by leading by example that we know that there is a way out. Right. And the best way is Jesus. And it's like I passed you know, by the church, and before I can get to the church, God began to show the sign that you have on your billboard, and the only answer to that is Jesus is the answer. That's right. All right. Well, I'm excited. Are you Are you ready to preach? I'm ready to preach. You ready, you ready to be a blessing? I'm ready to be a blessing. There are millions of people watching right Amen. now. What would you say to those who are in gangs, who are strung out on drugs? Uh, young ladies that are caught up in prostitute. What about the doctors, the lawyers? What about those that just feel like they don't need Jesus? What could you say to them? Well, we want to tell you that Jesus is the answer. Now, I believe if you try Jesus and give God a chance and allow this opportunity, I believe, as I even speak to you prophetically, I believe before Come 2013, yeah. God is going to change your whole nah. situation. God is literally about to do a shando yeah. in your life. There's a change coming. Even while I'm speaking, Woo. I feel God shipping. I feel your room yeah. shipping. I feel yeah. your living room shipping. Yeah. But God is literally doing something right now Woo. as we begin to speak. My God, you better all oh, shout out. Oh, I'm telling you, lawyers gonna yeah. be saved, yeah. doctors gonna yeah. be saved, yeah. dope fiends gonna be yeah. saved, homemongers gonna yeah. be saved, yeah. homosexual yeah. lesbians yeah. Are, are going to be saved because the enemy have stole their identity and they have an identity crisis. Yes. But God get ready to ship that thing. Uh -huh. Our children that have literally have been bound, God is bringing them out. Uh -huh. I decree and declare that God is doing it right now and do I feel this thing we're gonna get in there uh, yeah, yeah. in Jesus name all right there you heard that we're gonna get into church because we gotta let this fire anointing go up in the house and I'm just excited thank you so much for bless you coming bless you. amen for the anniversary amen, amen. Hit, hit the like button you, and where's your church at my church is 11250 South Avalon Boulevard the Rick and Proof of Christ Holiness Church trauma Center. And who's the answer? Jesus is the answer. How did I ever?